This truck's a bit rougher than all of them. If you cut corners, it ends up costing you more time. All right, so this truck's a bit rougher than all of them. That being said, a lot of parts can be used to live on. We got to get it up off the ground, swap that rim on because that tire is dry rotted and I don't want to mess around getting it on the beat. This 390 does run and actually the rocker covers are pretty clean. So is the dash pad, the driver's fender. It'll make an excellent parts rig. Cab's too rotten to be saved, unfortunately, but it, it can be used. Not the cab, the rest of the truck. So if you look down there, it's completely separated. It, it's just not worth fixing. The amount of time and money it would take to redo this isn't worth it for just a regular old pickup. And unfortunately, money makes the world go around. So if you look at the dash pad though, we can save this, it's not cracked. We'll clean it, saturate it, and it'll be good in the other truck. So we'll have one really clean example of a dent side by the time we get done. I need to go get the airline. Bobo's gonna see if the impact's got enough juice. I'm also gonna grab a breaker bar when I'm there in case it doesn't. This truck's new enough and it's the passenger side so we don't gotta worry about the wrong direction threads. Good luck, I'm gonna go get the airline. rough that's for sure <laughs> this is quite the negative cable <sighs> oh, 
what? Oh, that goes to the other side. This was the ground under the ground. <laughs> when we realized how bad the cab was, we didn't keep going because we weren't sure what we were going to do yet. Okay. Now, I can't remember if we got the ignition to work or not. I don't think so. Just a two barrel. Little baby two barrel. with the key. You never know. jumper wire now I remember <laughs> so many trucks that I forget things so let's give this one an old tap a Rooney <sighs> okay go try and crank it some more fuel in the carb and then try to see if it'll go into gear here it's got a leaky carburetor too so I don't want to run it any more than we need to man that cat's bad she's shot all right if I can get it to go into gear, I'm gonna pull it out of the hole, right? If she goes enough. If not, I'll put some tranny fluid in it and see if that works. I don't want that tire to come off. We better put air in this tire, damn it! It's gonna ruin everything if it comes off the bead. All right, well, listen, gang. We've done this for a long time now. Many years, Bobo and I have been resurrecting history. As you guys know, if you cut corners, it ends up costing you more time. This tire is almost flat, and if you take a look over there, that one is flat. That's why we have a generator and an air compressor. It's been a long week, so we were, well, we were being lazy. So. Come on, baby. Grab your hair. Choke on. Come on.
35 will be enough. Just so it doesn't come off. Almost at 30. So that's got 32 in it. Stem removal cap. Sorry, it looks like I was flipping you guys off there. My bad. Nice. That's a keeper. We need a better air compressor. This one's getting worn out. But I paid 10 bucks for it. Scratch and dent. Same with the generator. It was, I think, 50 bucks. Which is good because we're poor. Life starts at 60, Bobo. So no worries. Life starts at 60. That was right. life starts at 40. I don't know. It's taking forever. Almost there. Yeah. Well, we got the the blue one. The problem is my other generator. I don't like leaving in the truck. The big Honda, yeah. the 2200, it'll run that blue one. This one won't. The whole point of this truck is to make the other one live. We should get our own country song. Instead of a little mud on the tires, just need a little air in my tires. These mirrors are better than the other truck, too. I don't know if... Depends who buys it, I guess. If they want West Coasties or... It's got the mounts for it. Yeah. This fender is definitely going to go on the other truck. Once I get uh, pressure on it, put it in neutral.
put it in uh Thank you. 